So taking a look at uh, another epsilon delta type problem, in this situation we're looking for a value of delta, so the inputs of a function, so that when we're looking at its output, it's within 0.2 of the answer of 1 half or 0.5. And so with this setup, we're given that this function 1 over x uh, minus 0.5 has to be less than 0.2. This is really the, the error tolerance that we're allowing for our answers for the input around 0.5. And so when we look at our function here, 1 over x, uh, at x equals 2, we know it has a height of 1 half, so that's where this x minus 2 less than delta is coming from. Our error here being 0.2 tells me on our picture, we're allowing the function to go from 0.7 to 0.3. And so here are the outputs for the function. What inputs guarantee me outputs in that direction? So we're trying to figure out a value of delta so that if I go 2 plus delta and 2 minus delta, I'm always, for every number inside of here, inside of that epsilon band. So we need a little groundwork to get started here to figure out what that delta has to be rather than just guessing a number that works. We're going to try to find a delta that is as large as possible. So we want as large as possible to guarantee me all those numbers always get me within an epsilon band. Remember, I can always get really close, and I'm in there, but I want to get as far away as possible so that I'm always inside of that output of that function. Okay, so our start off for this problem is to look at for what values of x do I get an output of 0.7, and what values of x do I get an output of 0.3. And so I'm kind of looking for these numbers. And I'm going to call that my x1 and the x2 here. Now for this example, it's not going to be that bad to solve for them. Uh, what value of uh, x gives me an output of the function being 0.7? So uh, f of x1 equals to 0.7. My function is 1 over x, so 1 over x1 equals to 0.7 or uh, 7 tenths. So I have 1 over x1 equals to 7 tenths. And I want to solve for x1, so I know if I take the reciprocals, I get x1 is going to be 10 over 7. By a similar argument, we can find what x2 is. What we're li looking for x2, it's 1 over x2 equals to, we have a height of 0.3, which is 3 tenths, which tells me x2 is going to be 10 thirds. Now I'm trying to find the value of delta again, so looking at this picture, I've got two different inputs that they close off this entire fit function on this range of outputs from 0.3 to 0.7. But I want to find it so that when I just add delta or subtract delta from 2, that I'm guaranteed that I'm always with inside of there. So I'm going to look at both of these expressions. I'm going to have um, the absolute value of 2 minus x1 and the absolute value of 2 minus x2 to try to figure out which one of these is uh, smaller so that if I go in that direction, I get right to the end point. Because if I pick the larger one, when I go the other direction, I may overlap and go beyond the inputs that get me inside that epsilon band. So 2 minus x1 is uh, 2 minus the 10 sevenths. And so if we uh, simplify that, that should be 3 sevenths. So not to skip the work here, we have uh, 2 minus 10 sevenths. So that's 7 sevenths minus 10 sevenths. Here we're going to have 2 minus 10 thirds. i got to take a step back here. I'm trying to do that a little bit too quickly. Give myself more room. Absolute value, 2 minus the uh, 10 sevenths. That's 14 sevenths minus 10 sevenths, or 4 sevenths as a result. Here I have uh, absolute value of 2 minus 10 thirds, which is equal to uh, 6 thirds minus 10 thirds, and an absolute value that gives me a positive 4 thirds. It would be negative 4 thirds, but the absolute value makes it positive. And so which of these numbers is larger than the other one? The 4 thirds is larger, so that was related to our 10 thirds point here. 
that distance from 2 to 10 thirds is much larger here when I go in the left hand direction. So I wouldn't want to pick delta to be 4 thirds because that would be too large on this interval. I would be able to pick numbers here outside of that epsilon band. So I'm always going to pick delta to be the smaller of these numbers. So delta here is going to be the minimum of 4 thirds and 4 sevenths. And so in this case, that's 4 sevenths as an answer. So I've got my value of delta. So it's guaranteeing me this here, this distance, delta is 4 sevenths, guarantees me on the right hand side if I go up to delta, I'm going to end at this point here, 2 plus 4 sevenths or 18 sevenths. All of these answers in that delta band are within the epsilon band for the function around 0.5.